Businesses count on IT heroes to save the day every day. Now you can unlock the power of AI for business PCs with Intel Core Ultra Processors and Intel vPro. Deploy AI at scale for your mobile. Hi, my friends from Texera. We are here with a couple of our speakers from Intel side. And the idea is that uh, we want to know, because you guys have been talking about AI everywhere, and we know that uh, in the Mobile Cong World Congress, there's going to be a lot of interesting news. So can you tell us where we are and where we are heading? Yeah, maybe I'll start. Uh, uh, this is David Fung from, uh, from Intel, a managed client segments uh, in Client Computing Group. Uh, First, uh, thank you for having us. Super excited uh, for the coming week uh, as we introduce the Core Ultra Processor to the world uh, in the past few months. We had a launch in December, on December 14th, and, and we had a further AIPC uh, announcement in CES as well, right? So the coming week is, uh, is the commercial moment. So in a nutshell, we're bringing Core Ultra and AIPC to commercial uh, customers of all sizes. Um, and not only it brings AI, it also uh, enhances the productivity for the users across performance, power efficiency, uh, all the applications, AI and otherwise, right? It also, it also uh, enhances our Reaper platform, which is our main platform brand for commercial uh, IT as well. So across security, manageability, and stability, uh, we're raising the bar across all of that as well. And last but not least, I want to say that we uh, we are partnering closely with the Microsoft uh, to bring new features to all PCs, right? Microsoft will roll out their own technologies and new capabilities, and we've been working with them closely to enhance uh, foundational security as well as other uh, capabilities for the users. Sounds good. And also, can you tell us a little bit more about the alliances, the, the one with Microsoft and things like that? Uh, Microsoft, uh, at the highest level, I want to say we, we have long-standing relationship with Microsoft. We we'll work together to bring new technologies from both companies together to translate into products with the new experiences and capabilities to the customers. Uh, there are many, many examples we can talk about. Uh, I'll just say a couple, like from security perspective, Microsoft operating system uh, does take advantage of uh, about a dozen silicon security features from our processors to make the PC more secure. That's one. And then from uh, for Ultra and latest Windows 11 capability perspectives, uh, I'll give you another example around uh, Windows Studio effects, uh, like the video conferencing, uh, features using uh, background blur, gaze calibration, uh, etc. Uh, that like seemingly some of the features people uh, start to take for granted, but it's a real co-engineering. Took our engineers uh, working together closely to really bring those features to all uh, Qualtra-based uh, devices, including commercial devices that's coming soon as well. So those are. You know, we, again, like I said, we have many, many more examples. I just uh, want to mention a couple. Sounds good. And from the 5G uh, perspective, here in Colombia, we have been a struggle with that <laughs> because we, we don't have 5G yet. We are working on the legal framework and things like that. But I know that in the, in the market, this is pretty much going really far. So what are you guys going to present on uh, on the Mobile World Congress? Yeah, so good question. From 5G perspective, uh, we uh, we see OEMs really bring 5G options to a lot of their commercial, I call uh, premium and super premium commercial designs. And some bring 5G options to their mainstream sub-brands as well. So, uh, you know, we play a role to really enable the OEM designs, and and uh, as you probably know, we do not uh, we do not own in-house 5G IP, so that's more of a OEM's design choice, and we do 
the platform level enabling to make those designs uh, happen. Sounds good. Now. Any other news from the Edge or from the Wi-Fi side uh, that we should know about it? Yeah, so I, I'm pretty sure you've, you've, uh, you've been uh, watching uh, what we, we've been talking about from Wi-Fi 7 perspective, right? So we do expect, uh, uh, not expect, we do know there are a number of uh, commercial designs. So this is going to come with Wi-Fi 7. Uh, at least as an option, so we're super excited about that. Um, and uh, from a wired connectivities, uh, Thunderbolt Four uh, is is out there, uh, not for commercial, but for uh, high end uh, gaming uh, uh, on the consumer side. Uh, we announced uh, Thunderbolt Five as well, uh, which is super exciting. Can support up to one hundred twenty gigabit per second. Uh, uh, Something really just I wouldn't be able to imagine just a couple of years ago. Okay. Sounds great. Sounds really promising. Uh, everything that we're going to see in the in the next week. Yeah, we we are, we're very excited. I think, uh, uh, like I said, this is just a great time to to uh, to be in the PC business as well as a great time for for IT and commercial customers to consider a new machine. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for all your time and for sharing this information.